are talking about the hymn, All Praise to Thee, My God, This Night, and it is number 883 in the Lutheran Service Book. Now, this hymn is an awesome hymn, really. Love it to death. Kind of think it's an interesting choice for this week in church because we're going to be singing it during communion in the morning, and it is definitely a bedtime hymn. This is totally, this has nighttime written all over it. Actually, it literally has nighttime written all over it. The word evening appears in it and sleep a bunch of times. But I asked Pastor Wilsey why we were going to be singing it this week, and he said that if we don't sing it on Sunday morning, there are a bunch of people out there who are just never going to learn it. And so this is a pedagogical choice. He wants you guys to learn it and to know it, and actually it's probably a good one because if you don't know this hymn, you are missing out. It is one of my favorites. So this is an evening hymn from pastor and bishop in the Church of England, Thomas Ken. And the Dictionary of Hymnology says that Ken is best known to hymnody as the author of morning, evening, and midnight hymns. These three hymns, literally the morning, evening, and midnight hymn, those are what they're called, they were first published in the year 1695 in a manual of prayers for students from Winchester College. The Dictionary of Hymnology also goes on to say that the morning and evening hymns out of those have been published in almost every single English language hymn collection for the last 150 years. And the Lutheran Service Book is no exception to that. We are talking about the evening hymn right now, but also if you go back a few pages, 868, Awake My Soul and With the Sun, you can't see it there. This is also a Thomas Ken hymn, his his morning hymn to go along with his evening hymn. I didn't find the midnight hymn. So if you know about it and you want to like link it someplace or uh, I mean comment it in the comments so I can find it, that would be very helpful. But anyway, I found when I was researching this hymn a good bulletin blurb, uh, suggested bulletin blurb, and I didn't find the author of it, but it says this. It says, as the end of a day approaches, our thoughts tend to dwell on ourselves, on our accomplishments and failings of the day past, or on our plans for the following day. Thomas Ken's evening hymn, All Praise to Thee, My God This Night, suggests a different pattern of thought, praising God for his blessings, seeking forgiveness from God, and committing the night to rest in preparation for serving God the next day. And these are very insightful kind of comments on, well, on the human condition and on this hymn. I find that to be very true for myself. Have you guys ever laid in bed trying to fall asleep at night and the only thing that is running through your mind, the thing that's keeping you up is just all of the bad stuff that went on during the day, all of the stuff you didn't get done, all the ways that you failed, all of the things that you wanted to accomplish but couldn't do quite right. For me, this is very true. It's the thing that keeps me up at night. And the only thing that can combat that for me is the promise of God. And so this hymn takes our eyes off of looking inward on, on the things that we've done or left undone or or even off of our selfish, like, oh, I'm so great attitudes at night. Maybe if that's, I don't know anyone who thinks like that at night, but if you do, it's still sinful, right? So what this hymn does is it takes our eyes off of that inward focus and it puts them on God and on God's responses for all of the evils that impact us through the day, both those that we commit and those outside forces that want to drag us down. So this hymn is a prayer, and it actually really reminds me of a number of other evening prayers, including Luther's evening prayer and even the Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep prayer that a bunch of us learned when we were growing up. This hymn has six verses, which include five petitions, five different prayers, and then a doxology. And verse one begins, all praise to thee, my God, this night, the name of the hymn, and then continues on with a petition that actually echoes the language of Psalm 92. We pray that God would keep us, that beneath his own almighty wings, uh, we may be protected. Again, that language of Psalm 92, verses one and two. And then verse two continues on, not only that God would be with us and protect us, but that God would get, grant us forgiveness because we know that that is the only thing that's really going to be able to give us that peace that we need to sleep. Verse two says uh, that God would forgive us that ere we sleep at peace we may be. Very important step. Good thing it comes second in the in the entire hymn there. Stanza three then uh, another one of our enemies, not just our guilt over sin, but death is addressed in stanza three. We pray that God would teach us not to fear the grave. It asks that we may dread the grave as little as we dread our beds at night, trusting in the hope of Christ that we, 
may rise glorious at the awful day. And I think it's interesting there. It says that we may rise glorious at the awful day, but it's awe, A-W-E, dash full, F-U-L-L, which is the same way it was listed in the Lutheran, the Lutheran hymnal, T-L-H. The day of awe for us, not something to fear, but something that we will rejoice at. Then stanza four looks ahead to tomorrow. Help me to sleep that I may more vigorously serve my God when I awake. Stanza five, basically, grant us sweet dreams and guard us against all evil. And we close it all out with the doxology, praise God from whom all blessings flow. Now I really feel the need to close out this video with a go to sleep at once and in good cheer, because that's the way that Martin Luther closes out his evening prayers. And if you're watching this video at bedtime, then by all means, go ahead, go to sleep at once and in good cheer. But don't take this hymn's inclusion in the service on Sunday as an excuse to fall asleep during church. It's not going to fly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something and we'll see you next time. Bye.